After my picture fades and darkness has turned to grey, watching through windows, you're wondering if I'm okay. Secrets stolen from deep inside. The drum beats out of time. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time, if you fall, I will catch you, I'll be waiting. Time after time. You said, go slow, I'll fall behind. The second hand of mine. It's just like my one of my favorite songs. And I used to sing it when I was a little girl. And um, I didn't even know what it was about when I was a little girl. But I used to just sing it everywhere I went. And um, like go to the, the German store across the street and sing that song in the hallways or whatever. And all I would sing was, time after time. I was like four years old. Anyway, a um, couple years ago, I was just thinking about that song and listening to that song and I heard it and my sister was there and she said, you know, that's a very emotional song for um, somebody that we know and are very close to that lost his mother. And um, he thinks about his mother whenever he hears that song. And I thought about that song again recently because of my best friend who unexpectedly lost her husband. And it's very sad. It's very emotional. He's always around. And whenever she needs him, he's there. Even if she doesn't know it, he's there. So um, it made me think of that song again. So, I love that song, and so that little bit is for her. I won't make y'all listen to the whole thing. <laughs> but what I'm doing is, is I was, I wanted to give an update, because I haven't done Lesson 9. And um, I just, you know, so much stuff has gone on um, in my life that I haven't really even had the computer hooked up. <laughs> and I have been... Um, barely looking on my, like, my Facebook and my MySpace. MySpace is, like, non-existent for me. <laughs> so, I want to give an update. Not necessarily Lesson 9. Of course, Lesson 9 is a good one. It's all about, like, um, let me see, a little lesson. Everything that we want in, in this body, in this life, can be found in the world within. If you say you want something, whether it's material, whether it's love, anything, it's found in the world within. And you can channel your thoughts to the universe. And again, the universe hears and the universe knows what you need and what you want. And it just starts going. And the universe will provide for you. Something cool that happened, I'll say, is... Um, Oh, maybe like six months ago, I wanted to join a gym, and um, it's one particular gym that's near my work, and I signed on to get their, like, mail updates or something, because they send out, like, positive affirmation type stuff sometimes, and I thought, wow, that's really cool of a gym, you know, so I've been getting their um, email messages, and then um, it started going to my spam folder. Because I hadn't been opening, I'm guessing, because I hadn't been opening the emails and stuff, so I thought it was spam. So I um, was just randomly looking at my spam folder, and I saw them a couple months ago, and I was like, gosh, I really want to go to that gym. But I already spend this amount of money on my belly dance class, and I already spend this amount of money on this and that. And I was like, can, do I really want to spend more money on exercise? <laughs> or can I just do it like at home, you know? 
but they have this fun play area like that would be perfect for my son and the price for me and my son was like $55 which is not bad, but then I would be spending like $100 a month on exercise. And I didn't know if I wanted to spend that kind of money on that. So I kept it on the back burner. I still really wanted it, but I hadn't decided when I wanted to go take a tour and decide whether I wanted to do it or not. So I was randomly with my friend, and we went to a friend of hers. And she's this really nice lady. And um, we were talking, and I was doing like a psychic reading or whatever. And she asked me a question like... Um, Am I ever going to lose weight? And I'm like, oh, what a silly question. <laughs> because, I I mean, I've asked that question millions of times. And you have to, like, to, for me, I had to have surgery. <laughs> but I did go to gyms. And I still had to have surgery. I can't really tell how big people are anymore. I can't tell how little or big I am. I really can't tell. Sorry. I said, I've been wanting to join the gym. I just haven't been motivated. And I want to go to this gym. Um, what if I join the gym and you join the gym and we'll go exercise together? And she says, you want to join the gym? And I was like, yeah. She said, you want to join that gym? And I was like, yes, I do. Come on, let's do it. And she's like, girl, you're my fifth. And I was like, huh? And she said, you're my fifth. Um, I get free membership. So um, I can pick five people to get free membership to. And she said, here, I mean, she basically said, here, you get free membership to that gym for a year. So, yay! I mean, awesome! Like, that is the master key. That is the vision board. You know, the universe know, knew I wanted that. It just didn't, it knew I didn't want to spend any money. <laughs> so, the universe works in mysterious ways. And let me tell you, I mean, it's not like, I had never met this woman before. And she was so sweet to me to do that. So, the universe puts people together for a reason. So she is wonderful and we've hung out more after um, talking about that. So that happened. The bad stuff has happened. It's made me not want to talk on YouTube about the master key because you know you get like down and you're like gosh how can I spread positivity when bad things are happening to me. Oh, so my sister has like commissioned me and said, you know, you have to paint a picture for my, my baby girl that's coming, Liliana. So, I am drawing the picture right now on the canvas. I don't know if you can see. That's a flower, though. Because <laughs> I like flowers. And I'm putting flowers and butterflies. And maybe I'll put a ladybug because I love ladybugs. Ooh, I'll put a ladybug right here. Oh, I've been sick. Um, I have a little cold, but that's not what I've been sick of, you know, sick from.